After breakfast, I joined our group in the lobby and went over to the Basilica of the Immaculate Conception for Mass. When Mass concluded, there was a group of Irish soldiers in the back of the Basilica that were ready for the next Mass, but there was a problem with scheduling as they were there too early and the priest was a little upset by this commotion during Mass. I had a little time to explore the basilica with their beautiful stained glass windows and the cupola. This upper basilica outside Piazza gives a good overview of the grounds as we next planned our move. We went across the bridge and looked at the new chapel of the lights. I was amazed at all the different styles of candles offered. I next went into the Chapel of Adoration for a conversation with Mary and Jesus. Upon stepping out of that chapel, I came about to see Bernadette's church that was right next door and listened to the ending service and then took some pictures of people in carts praying for a miracle as they were led out. Even though they were in extreme pain, showing their faith in their eyes, with joy and peace in their smiles as they moved past me. I next enjoyed a military parade being set up by the Swiss Guard and took all this in from above at the basilica that we had mass from. I next moved with Deacon Bob and we explored the Stations of the Cross and I was taken aback by the sheer beauty and realism of the figurines depicting each station. It was interesting also to see a tent city put up by the military that attended this weekend ceremonies and how efficient they were in taking down as their program ended. Our small little group went on to an Italian area of the city shops close to our hotel and we decided to have a pizza for lunch, but also found out by a poster that the Knights of Columbus were also staying at this hotel. This hotel also had connections with one of the one we were staying at, and I was able to buy something at a discount. I got a fancy barrette that everyone seemed to like. On the way back to our hotel in the lobby area, I found Enza, our group guide leader, with some Irish people that were wearing masks and hats and making funny faces as I took their pictures. Being recharged for the tour this afternoon took us to the Rosary Square as we got acquainted with the other end of the property. We walked to Bernadette's home where she was born called the Boyle Mill. In the home, we viewed the, her bedroom and the way of life during this period of time. The family went through hard times, especially when the father got hurt working in the mill. We next took a stroll to the underground basilica of St. Pius X and again was taken back by the enormous size of the place that can seat 25,000 worshipers. A healing mass was going to take place as I watched from afar. As our tour ended, some of us went on to the grotto cave and walked through the line to touch the waters seeping from the side walls and get a glimpse where Bernadette dug a hole by instructions from the Blessed Virgin Mary. The grotto cave area was going to have a mass with the military, so I decided to stay a while for pictures. I next went up to the Basilica of the Rosary and was amazed at the size being so close to the upper basilica and the beautiful mosaic depictions of the mysteries of the Rosary that were embedded on the walls above the side altars surrounding the basilica. This being a full day, I thought it's now time to rest and download pictures. <laughs> 